poor, it's rather early, but let's go for it. So, this is it since last night. So, there you go, it's all frothied up and gone all bubbly. It's still quite thin. So, what I'm going to do is give it a mix. And this is the bit that's always a little bit odd for me. Because I'm going to pour off about half of it. And that's going to go in the bin. And the reason you do that is because if you don't, it'll end up overflowing out of the, um, out of the tub. And you just don't need all of it. Okay. So now that you've taken some out, we simply feed it again. So, same as last night. Probably won't go quite so much flour. Like I say, as long as you've got the equal amount of flour and water in weight. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. And when it comes to doing the sums later on hydration, you'll see why I think you need to be spot on. So, quite simply, mix it all up. Now, I've done this on Wednesday. I probably would have normally bought this out on a Thursday morning to refresh it ready for the weekend, but I got excited to want to do the video. So, here we go. And if I remember today, it'll come down, because they reckon it's about, depends on like how warm the room is, but in about four hours or so, this will this will bubble all the way up and, and then because it will eat all of the new stuff and then it will then drop back down again so kind of at its peak is really the ideal time to use it in your, in your salad room. Right. Okay. So it's about in there. By the way, when you first do it, it smells a bit rank. And I think that was because I had the apples in, but now it just smells really nice. Cool. That's all. See you later.